。呢一位系 Fox News 嘅主持人 Chris Wallace， 佢已经从事记者主持人工作五十五年，佢非常有个性。但睇落去好随和，做朋友真係一流。不过同佢做访问，你就要小心，因为佢连美国总统都唔俾面嘅。美国总统特朗普上星期就接受佢节目嘅专访 ，Chris 询问咗特朗普先前就病毒发表嘅声明。I think that at some point、uh, that's going to sort of just disappear. I hope. 佢问特朗普系咪仍然坚持自己呢一个观点？ I'll be right eventually. <笑> I will be right eventually. You know, I said it's going to disappear. I'll say it again. It's going to disappear, and I'll be right. 嗱，大家睇唔出啊，原来特朗普系得道高真，尘世间所有嘅万物，最终何尝唔会烟灰飞灭咁消失啦？正所谓，阿弥陀佛，我随风而来，随风而去。Honey 啊，我今晚唔洗碗啊，反正碗里面嘅污渍最终都会消失，甚至只碗本身都会消失。你要洗，你自己洗啦。大家好，我系周俊贤，欢迎嚟到油葱之言。如果大家睇过平时特朗普嘅记者会或者访问，应该留意到特朗普好中意夸奖自己嘅，而通常 Fox News 电视台其他嘅节目主持人都会附和总统嘅说话，但系阿 Chris 冇咁做，佢竟然同总统以事论事。But I think we have one of the lowest mortality rates true, in the world. We, well, we, we're going to we take a look. We had 900 deaths on a single day. We will this, take a look this week. Ready? I, you, you can、oh, check it out. Could you please get me the mortality rate? Yeah. Kaylee's right here. I heard we had one of the lowest, maybe the lowest mortality I, rate anywhere in the world. You have the numbers, please, <laughs> because I heard we had the best mortality rate. Number number one low mortality rate. I hope you show the scenario because it shows what fake news is all about. Okay, okay I don't、ahead. think I'm fake news, but、okay. I will we'll put well, our there you are. We'll put our stats. You、on. said we had the worst mortality rate in the world,、I、and we have the best. The all right, it's a little complicated,、rate. but bear with us. We went with numbers from Johns Hopkins University, which charted the mortality rate for 20 countries hit by the virus. The U.S. ranked seventh, better than the United Kingdom, but worse than Brazil and Russia. The White House went with this chart from the European CDC, which shows Italy and Spain doing worse, but countries like Brazil and South Korea doing better. Other countries doing better, like Russia, aren't included in the White House chart. Chris 的确系一名好值得尊敬嘅新闻从业员，不过做佢老婆就几辛苦噶。老婆，你话你每日晏昼喺屋企做家务，做到好攰系嘛？但我有证据显示你唔系做足成日家务咯。你睇下呢个电信公司嘅图表，数据显示你每日三点至五点之间上网嘅数据都好高噶。我思疑你嗰段时间睇紧韩剧咯。Chris 唔止同总统以事论事，佢直头质疑同埋挑战总统曾经讲过嘅说话。佢话电视台做过民意调查，受访者被问及边一位候选人有健全嘅心态，可以有效地担任总统，超过半数嘅人都话特朗普唔够拜登有健全嘅心态做总统嘅。而喺特朗普上任之后，曾经做过一个认知能力嘅测验，佢攞到好高分。佢话啲医生见到佢嘅成绩都觉得佢顶呱呱，所以佢平时成日炫耀佢嘅测试结果。今次佢又攞呢个测试出嚟挑战拜登，不过 Chris 并唔系浪得虚名，佢一早已经做好准备。Well, I tell you what,、uh, let's take a test. Let's take a test right now. Let's go down. Joe and I will take a test. Let him take the same test that I took. Incidentally, I took the test too when I heard that you passed it. Yeah, how did、it's、you do? Hard, well, it's not the hardest test. No, but the it last has a picture and it says what's last... that and it's an elephant. No, no, no. You see, that's all misrepresentation. Well, that's what it was on the web. It's all misrepresentation because yes, the first few questions are easy. But I'll bet you couldn't even answer the last five questions. I'll bet you couldn't. They get very hard. The last five. Well,、questions. one of them was count back from a hundred by seven. And let me tell you. You couldn't answer. You couldn't answer. All right. What's the question? Many of the questions. I'd get you the test. I'd like to give it, but、right. I guarantee you that Joe Biden could not answer those questions. Okay. Okay.、Uh, you, And you I answered all thirty-five questions correctly. 当 Eddie 睇到呢度嘅时候，其实好安心，因为如果有一日美国有啲乜嘢关于大象嘅问题，大笨象大流行咁之类啊吓，识得分辨大笨象嘅特朗普一定会处理得好好。特朗普识得分边只系大笨象，觉得好自豪；识得从一百倒数每一个减七嘅数字，觉得好骄傲。但其实一般嘅小学生系咪应该识嘅咧？嗱，一百减七九十三，九十三减七即系啊九三得个九啊七
啊，个真系八九十一，哇，好彩我识答啫，真系。特朗普话呢一个测试最后嘅五题系好难嘅，而根据呢一个认知测试样本嘅最后五条问题系，请讲出今日系几多号、乜嘢月份、咩年份、星期几，你喺乜嘢地方同埋乜嘢城市。其实特朗普考嘅嗰个测试系叫做蒙特利尔认知评估测试，有几难呢？根据开发呢个测试嘅人齐亚德纳斯雷丁博士话，对于冇认知障碍嘅人嚟讲，系应该好容易嘅，因为呢个测试唔系智商测试。咁呢个认知测试系我嚟做乜嘢嘅呢？佢通常我嚟评估一个人嘅不同嘅认知领域，去识别一个人有冇认知功能障碍，包括有冇早期老人痴呆症嘅迹象。最高分数系三十分，特朗普话佢攞满分，你又攞到几多分呢？中意今期有充资源嘅朋友，记得订阅、分享、赞，拜拜。